Hey guys, what's up and welcome once again to my channel. It's Ali here with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, then welcome, 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 welcome. And if you've been rocking with me since day one, then welcome back. Also, to all my new subscribers, make sure to hit the notification button. That way you guys can always get notified whenever I upload a new video. But let's get on with it. So today's video is going to be a mini haul, I guess you could say. I'm going to be sharing some of my most recent purchases as well as some of my February favorites. And yeah, so the very first item is clearly the most obvious one, which is this one right next to me, which is my new backpack that I love and adore. I actually do have all my books and stuff in it, so it is a little heavy, but I absolutely love this backpack. It says, because of them we can, which is a black owned business that I found through Instagram. And also while I was at work one day, um, a client had walked in and she was rocking it. And I was like, where did you get that? <laughs> so she was kind enough to um, pretty much let me know about it. And I remember running across their site on Instagram before. So I just went for it and I ordered it. Cause as you can see, it has plenty of names of so many prolific figures throughout black history. So definitely had to get it and this one retails for 50 bucks and it just has a whole bunch of different pockets so it has this top one here which is where i tend to place my school id as well as my headphones just because i'm always losing my headphones and i never know where to find them and then it has an extra pocket here at the back which i thought was really dope and then the inside i would show you guys the inside but there's like so much stuff in there so that's the first item that I treated myself to because I have been treating myself this month and I'm just like, look, no one's going to treat you better than you treating yourself. So treat yourself. Don't be scared. So the next item is going to be one of my February favorites, actually. And this was the February Self Love Starter Kit by We Are Onyx and it came like so just really simple packaging but then the inside is really what caught my attention because they have the gold foiling for that month and it pretty much included a whole bunch of little goodies to help get you started on your self-love journey and they were really kind enough to send this out to me so it brings this really cute comb that i actually haven't even gotten look how pretty that is that's so pretty and i don't think i i think i haven't used it because it's just so pretty that i don't want to like soil it it's just so pretty but i love it i definitely love the um color scheme of it and it's super cute and it's great for travel size and this would actually make a great um detangler comb you know for when you're in the shower and you're doing like a quick little wash and go Mm-hmm. Next item that was also included in the self-love starter kit was this eyeshadow palette and it's like covered in oils because I'm always oiling my scalp. <laughs> and it's just a really nice um, warm palette. It has a lot of beautiful brown girl friendly shades in there and I actually have already used this palette as is and the colors go on seamlessly. They're gorgeous. They're really creamy and they're really really warm and they just are bomb and you also get this bomb lipstick by black radiance and you guys actually saw me wearing this one in um a couple of my videos well not a couple of my videos but like one of my last few videos i was wearing this shade and it goes on really really nice it stays on all day doesn't crack so i was highly impressed and i'm not sure how much this retails for but i'm sure it can't be no more than 10 I would say because Black Radiance's price range is really really fair and also really um, affordable. Next couple of things that you also get in the kit are these cute little um, hair clips which I actually have already gone ahead and used and I like using these whenever I am either just um, pulling my hair up because it's wet or I'm doing my makeup and I want to get some of my hair out of my face so these come in handy a lot of the times and I actually really love the material of these I'm not too sure what the material is but they are pretty um, heavy so I can tell that these are gonna last um, quite some time the last thing which is one of my absolute faves 
and I carry this wherever I go. It's this Naturally Bare Balm Body Intense Body Moisturizer that also came included in the box. And I love this as my little emergency lip balm or obviously to moisturize my hands when I'm on the train or just finish washing my hands getting out of the restroom. So this is just great. Plus, um, I don't really like opt for lotion anymore. So this is just the great size. I always use shea butter like literally everywhere I go, all over my body. For any given reason, shea butter is my savior. So I just use that for every little thing. And that's everything that comes included in the box. So that was definitely um, a really cute gift from We Are Onyx that I highly, highly, highly enjoyed. And you can definitely check out their site. I'll leave the link down below. So yeah. Moving on to the next item that I went ahead and treated myself to. I got a new sticker book for my Happy Planner. And this is the Rainbow Edition. And it brings um 1140 stickers and pretty much um these are all great for productivity and everyday purposes but they just all come in different colors so you have red blue purple pink green you name it they're all in here and i actually have already started using it and so far so good this is actually great for um my school days so it just helps me prioritize a lot easier and just zone in on what projects are due, what homework I have to get to, what readings I have to do, and so on and so forth. And it was on sale for $11.99. Next up is another one of my favorites that you guys have already seen me wear before and these are actually my frames from fur moo i would wear them right now but because of my ring light i don't want the glare to um be annoying but i absolutely love these frames i literally rock them wherever whenever every day depending on the fit as well but these are like my favorite glasses at the moment and they are so funky i get so many compliments every time i'm wearing them people are constantly just like where did you get your glasses those are so nice and yeah, yeah and they look great on you so i'm just like thank you thank you thank you thank you i appreciate the love they are just dope dope glasses and i'm sure if you head over to the site you can still catch a pair before they sell out so yeah i will also be leaving a link to their site as well as a voucher that way you guys can get your hands on a free pair Next up, um, as far as my favorites, it's also the My L Organic Adult Healthy Hair Formula Vitamins. And this is actually my third bottle. A lot of you guys have been saying like, whoa, your hair has been growing like crazy and it looks so thick and um, voluminous. Thank you so, 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 so much, first off. And these bad boys work. I am on my third bottle as you guys can see and I've been a bit sporadic with these I'm not gonna lie um there have been like a couple of days that will go by and I forget to take my vitamins so I'm actually gonna start putting a notification on my phone so that it reminds me to take them every day so you take these vitamins twice a day I usually will do morning and night why am I so out of breath Whew. I usually will take these um, morning and night, but if say I'm at work all day and I didn't get a chance to take one in the morning and I have to opt for taking both, you know, at night, I will do so. So I'll just have a nice hefty meal and then I'll just take twice either um, before bed or a few hours before bed just so that I don't miss out on taking my vitamins and they are working i mean as you can see my hair has gotten extremely thick since taking these vitamins so i'm very very happy with them they're organic and honestly it's the only um hair vitamins that i trust at this point because in my opinion it's just the safest one for me in my opinion next up as far as another product and a recent purchase it's the alake naturals essential 17 hair growth oil I purchased this one not too long ago over at Target and I know that I make my own like DIY oil but of course it never hurts to show love to black businesses and people who are already on the market and I'm just a hair product junkie in general so I've been wanting to try this for the longest and I'm actually not disappointed it has a really nice minty feel that goes on the scalp lovely 
um i have used it as a pre-poo actually in my last video that i just posted i did use this as a pre-poo and my scalp felt great and it brings just so many bomb essential oils um it has emu rosemary olive jojoba sweet almond tea tree peppermint oil and of course you have your essential oil blends so it's just bomb i like it um i really like the bottle it's really easy to use obviously you just slap it in there and they recommend that you use it every other day so the last time i had applied that was on tuesday so i did apply again today right before opting for this style to help refresh my scalp and yeah on to the good stuff i have been going crazy for books lately and it's nothing new like i used to buy a lot of books um way back when i was younger but of course you know time and life and scheduling gets in the way so you never really have time to just sit down and read a bomb book so i've actually purchased a few that i've either started reading or i plan on reading but majority of these are to be read the first one is um, Ta-Nehisi Coates' Between the World and Me. I have heard so many great reviews on this one and a lot of people on the tube as well um, have mentioned it plenty of times before. And I actually bought this, I want to say at least three weeks ago, so I've been meaning to read it. And I actually did start reading it. I'm on page 41 at the moment, but I just haven't, like I haven't really dived in as much as I would like to. So I think I'm going to save this one because I am currently reading Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie who at this point has become one of my favorite authors but I do plan on getting to this one as soon as I'm done with her and if you guys follow Amory here on YouTube Books Beauty Amory she gives awesome book reviews and book recommendations and she was also talking about how this is a great book to read hand in hand with the underground railroad by um colson or colton whitehead if i'm not mistaken i hope i got his name right but yeah the underground railroad and um i plan on purchasing that just so that i have it in hand when i'm done reading between the world and me of course i went crazy when i saw this book over at target because i had i was actually looking for everything everything and i ended up running into <clears throat> Excuse me the sun is also a star and i've heard so many great reviews on this one as well so as soon as i saw it it was the last one on the shelf so that's when i knew it was real i was like okay this is the last book on the shelf so ali you better pick this up or you better walk away now so i just picked it up and i wasn't upset at all this is definitely going to be a book that i look forward to reading because I'm telling you, I've heard nothing but great reviews. I know that Everything Everything has also just been turned into a film, so now I definitely have to read that book before I run into theaters to go watch the film. <laughs> and um, yeah, just a great cover. I love the cover on this and I love the colors as well. It's very vibrant and really eye-catching, so it's like, how could you not pick this up when you see it? And the author, of course, is Nicola Yoon. And this was also on Amory's um, best books of 2016 so definitely looking forward to this one and then of course heading over into fantasy which i absolutely love but i actually strayed away from for a while why i don't really know i guess i was trying to like read a bit more in depth and more like historical fiction books which is cool and all but at the same time it's like you kind of want to like get away from the heavy and just you know just enjoy a great book so i went ahead and purchased six of crows which as well i've seen all over instagram plenty of times and i'm just like whoa what is this about like i'm seeing it everywhere so i had to go and get it and it's so funny because i picked this up at target and you know when like the books are set up in a way that you know that was intentional but then something just seems out of place like there's this one book out of place because i also picked up the second book which is crooked kingdom and originally this was the first one that i saw on the shelf so i was like okay i'm gonna get crooked kingdom but then i was like wait a minute something doesn't feel right and there was this large book 
right next to Crooked Kingdom and it looked like it was hiding something and that's when I found Six of Crows. So I was like, okay, now I have to get both because they are a duology. So Six of Crows is the first one that um, you would have to read obviously in order to get familiar with all of the characters as well as the POVs and the universe that they are um, pretty much a part of. And honestly, I don't really like reading the little synopsis on the back because I feel like it kind of just slightly spoils it for me. That's just me. So I stopped reading the back of the book ages ago and I just like go in blind. So I'm looking forward to reading this one as well as Crooked Kingdom. I also love that they're hardcover and they're nice and thick. So I can tell that these are both going to be great reads um i've heard that they are very much a page turner so it's a book that you're not gonna want to like put down which i absolutely love i love books like that that's how i felt when i read the entire twilight series which i do own i just was flying through those books like no other to the point where like my friends were like oh my gosh you're almost done with that book i'm like yeah <laughs> so very much looking forward to reading all of these and as you guys know i'm currently reading purple hibiscus if you guys have a goodreads account which i actually just created i've set my goal for 40 books this year i kind of want to go towards 50 because i do think that it is possible for me to read 50 books this year so I will leave a link to my Goodreads account down below as well and if you guys have an account then please go ahead and follow me if you guys have any recommendations you can definitely let me know because I am looking for every book possible at this point. I'm just trying to like dive in and pretty much enlighten my perspective as is because a lot of people tend to think that like books are boring nowadays. Like. I see people reading books on iPads and not that that's bad or anything but I just like something that's tangible and especially with the book industry some of them are declining and some bookstores are shutting down as well it's kind of like the more they see you purchasing the more it's like okay maybe we should like stray away from technology a little bit people still enjoy having a physical copy so yeah that's my little spiel yeah. i hope you guys all enjoyed this video please feel free to let me know any book recommendations down below let me know if you guys have tried the my l organic healthy hair formulas and if you guys liked it was it a yay or nay for you and i will see you guys all in the next one bye oh and feel free to also let me know what do you do for a self-care session or how you treat yourself and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.